Educating our pilgrims is a key part of Dom Tours, right from the very start they book with Dom Tours. So even before we leave from uh, the UK, we have a pre-departure seminar where we talk to the Hajjaj about the, pre the rituals, we talk to them about the administrative matters that take place in, in Saudi so that they have some level of expectation when they come to Saudi. We are going to Haram now. You will say the dua of entering the mosque, which is Bismillah. Allahumma salli ala Muhammad wa ala Muhammad. Allahumma iftah li abwaab rahmatik. My role is to accompany the group and also give them seminars and to, you know, what to do at Umrah, what to do at Hajj, if they've got any questions, any queries. Um, so basically gives the, the person coming for Umrah or Hajj um, you know, peace of mind because then they know that they've got somebody to ask. And I think what makes Dome Tours slightly better than other groups is that some of the groups don't have scholars with them and so people then end up making mistakes and they get really nervous and you know panicky about their uh, their worship without the seminars i wouldn't have a clue as to where to go what to do i'd be totally lost you know i rely on the seminars i rely on them completely like you know. this is the journey to allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and sometimes some of the things that the seminars are very good because they give us um, an idea about what is going to go next and also give us a chance to ask questions and get answer for many uh, topics that we, you know, a little bit uh, not sure about it. You know, you are in Mecca now, the city of Mecca. The reward is multiplied, and not only the prayer. In 2006, um, I started bringing people on Hajj. And I remember when we came into Mecca, uh, the Sheikh who was with us gave us a beautiful reminder. He said that you're not here on Hajj because you've got the money, that you've got the visa or the holidays. You're here because you've been invited to Allah's banquet. Unfortunately, everybody is getting overtime themselves, so try to... Format. I found that really useful. They reorientate you, they focus you on what you should be doing. I kind of give you a bit of reassurance, really, especially for people who are nervous to, to, to Hajj and how to perform it. Everything right up to today, including the seminars, even the hotel, the, every, all the arrangements, even right down to a SIM card for mobile phones, receiving text messages to update you what's going on, what's happening. Uh, the, the guidebooks is very, very good and very helpful. We have three shuyukh that travel with us uh, every year as a minimum, uh, and they speak a variety of languages. So, and they have access to the uh, shuyukh. So the shuyukh also perform hajj with us, and uh, they are there 24/7. They, they can, they're on the phone. They can um, ask them in Mina, in Arafat, Muzalifa at any point. Many people when they come for Hajj, their mind is centered around the technicalities of Hajj, the rituals of Hajj, and uh, uh, to, to how technical it gets. Yani, how are we going to stone, how are we going to make tawaf, how are we going to make sa'i, and they sometimes oversee and overlook the spiritualities of Hajj. As an example, uh, visiting the sites of the Prophet ﷺ and learning about the seerah of the Prophet ﷺ sets an example for us, uh, the life after Hajj. Now we, we, we had life before Hajj, we've lived through Hajj, and we have a life after Hajj that we should plan and we should keep in mind and we should follow the Prophet ﷺ. And uh, this is just sitting 
our footsteps on the path of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Welcome to Arafat. So before the actual Hajj, Dome Tours organized several visits to um, some Islamic landmarks within Mecca and also visits to Arafah, to Mina and to Muzdalifah for us to see exactly what that looks like, what that entails and so we could get a, a, a feel for what to expect and what to do at those sites and I think that was really useful. Abdurrahman, he explains things very well so when each, each location he took us, um, we, we could see, we could get appreciation of the importance of that. Um, location. Also the museum, alhamdulillah, that was a very good place to go and see and to, to see the history of um, Islam to see, and to see also the future of what they will be building in Mecca, inshallah. Our job is to make sure that everybody is not only safe, but they know exactly what they're doing and when they're doing it. And we go ahead in terms of traveling before the Hajjaj get out there so that we can plan ahead in terms of the passports and making sure that everything's set up for them. Um, there's a lot of work that's done behind the scenes that the Hujaj don't normally see. And for example, if we take a group from Makkah to Mina, um, which is when the start of the Hajj actually begins, we have a number of team members who have already been to Mina to set up the tents in which the Hujaj are going to stay, for example, make sure that all their comforts and everything are ready for them when they arrive. And the same goes for, for example, when we go to Arafah. So the journey of the Hajj has now begun. 95% of Arab speakers people do not know what the word Mina means. Do you know what the word Mina means? Those who make a repentance, a sincere repentance, tawbah, he is pleased with those who repent to him. So Allah, we ask the angel to be witness today that we are declaring our repentance to you. Oh Allah, accept us today. Oh Allah, accept our hajj. Oh Allah, purify our sins, say Ameen. Absolutely, the sheikhs have been fantastic. Um, they're there to help us 24 hours a day. Uh, we don't have any queries, any questions and, or stuff. We can ask them at any time. Um, they've been providing seminars which are very helpful. Uh, and I would recommend the brothers and sisters not mean, to attend them, not mean, because it's a, it's a good help for their journey for Hajj, inshallah. The reason why we chose Dome Tours as well is because my mother's not always at the greatest of health, and I've heard they have female doctors as well. Just that peace of mind knowing that they're there, they are there if you need them. Um, and also, obviously, all the brothers are very helpful. Alhamdulillah, whenever you need anything, you just have to ask them. Very friendly, always happy and smiley. If you need anything, they don't ever um, be annoyed. I mean, all the drinks and things that are provided as well, they say, don't ask us, it's, it's there for you. Food's good as well, Alhamdulillah, so can't really complain. Ya Rabbi, kaffir anna sayyatina, warfa darajatina, wajalna indaka min al-wujahai, ya Rabbi, la lami. يا رب جعلنا عندك من الوجاه يا رب العالمين يا رب تب علينا توبة نصوحة يا رب تب علينا توبة نصوحة اللهم يا رب لا تجعل غروب هذا الشمس إلا وقد أصلحت بها أحوالنا
لبيك اللهم لبيك لبيك لا شريك organizing to means of going back to Mina. has been crying on the day of Arafah. Did you cry on the day of Arafah? Alhamdulillah. So your Hajj is more likely to be accepted. After coming here, first of all, very well organized. Not everything goes to clockwork, but that's normal when you've got three million people in one place. Um, but I found um, uh, the journey very spiritual. And apart from your ibadah, uh, the physical demand and um, uh, sabr. I think that Dom Tours have done a very, very good job. And I'm very, very happy with them in terms of organization, uh, planning, uh, doing everything as a team, as a group, and uh, accommodation as well has been perfect, mashallah. And they've been very keen, uh, always giving food, drinks. They always look out for every single person. Uh, they don't leave anyone out. So alhamdulillah, throughout this whole hajj, I've been very, very happy with them. First visit for me for my Hajj and my Umrah, and I think because of Don Tours, uh, I've had a very good experience so far, and it's made my experience very uh, enjoyable and rewardable. I hope. لحد الآن اللي قالوا نفزوا بالحرف يا الحمد لله مبسوط كتير كتير. Nabil Rahman said, "Badge of honor for us to serve you," in the sense that they feel like they're the slaves of Allah to make our journey so easy. So the journey from when we started the Book Dome tours to now. It's actually been quite an easy one, in the sense that everything's been taken care of. So all we have to think about is concentrating on du'a and the ritual that we have to do. Inshallah, we are setting off to visit some of the sites of the Prophet وسلم, and uh, it's really uh, heartwarming when you uh, go around in Medina and see some of the places and you know for sure that this is where the Prophet وسلم, had been and he struggled and uh, he, he, he bled in order to deliver the message 
uh, of Islam and guide us to the uh, light of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. The city of light, al Madina al-Munawwara. This is the city of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. This is the place Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala chose for Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And when we came on this journey with them, they, it was beyond belief. I couldn't believe how much they took care of us. The organization, um, just literally holding our hands through every step. Behind you, behind you, is the farm of Sayyidina Uthman ibn Affan radiallahu ta'ala. Dome tours have been absolutely amazing. I wouldn't recommend anybody else to anyone else. Dome tours would be 100% first choice through and through for everything. Their accommodation has been five star, their travel, um, the food, their experience, everything that they provided us with, their facilities, their timetables, everything has been first class, honestly has been. Today, inshallah, we'll have Sheikh Ahmed talking to us for five minutes or so about life after Hajj. Just to remind us of what we went through and how we should plan and live our lives uh, once we return back to our home. Uh, just like life uh, is a journey, we go through it and come to the end of it. And like I said before, Hajj is really just about your relationship with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala.